Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Shane Gray from Clinch again. I'm back to give you a quick run through our content management system, which is one of the modules within our recruitment marketing platform. So we've already seen from the candidate experience uh, video the type of pages and layouts that you can create within our content management system, but no harm to have a quick refresh of a couple of key concepts that are going on these pages. So we support any and all branding look and feels. We have a very, very comprehensive theming engine that we can get into in the back end of Clinch that really allows you to make these pages look like your pages. Clinch is invisible. There's no Clinch branding. And the layout and the look and feel can be pixel perfect to your corporate, uh, your corporate layout. So again, very easy to keep the folks in marketing happy. Again, a lot of flexibility in terms of layouts with uh, you know, how you segment uh, individual job families, countries, uh, even down to being able to build microsites that showcase only the roles within a specific, uh, a specific uh, location or job family to a target audience. And again, as we reviewed before, the job landing pages, uh, very, very uh, rich templates with the ability to customize these. Everything self-optimizes for mobile and desktop and a lot of optimization going on behind the scenes for things like Google for Jobs. All jobs are marked up automatically for uh, Google for Jobs schema. They're marked up correctly for social posting. So if you share them on social media, they don't look like a, a funny out of shape logo. We'll typically grab the top image in the page and build that, uh, that sharing uh, module very, very neatly. And again, other stuff going on that may not be apparent, you know, highly accessible from an ADA compliance perspective with alt tagging of imaging going on using AI in order to allow a screen reader to understand that this is a room full of people. So a lot of flexibility in terms of layouts, a lot of flexibility in terms of the way the types of calls to action you may want to put in the pages. Uh, the dynamic blocks that can recommend content or jobs, and then individual static blocks really allowing you to showcase what it's really like to work within your organization. And again, not in a one-size-fits-all way. Our system allows you to route different looking uh, templates to different jobs in different locations. So you can really home in on telling that very specific story to the candidates in North America versus maybe the slightly different story you want to explain about the organization to candidates that are sitting in Europe. So let's have a look at this in the back end. So within the platform, what we do is we have a career site framework that <clears throat> really allows you to control having set up those initial branding look and feels, makes it very easy to make changes on an ad hoc basis without requiring any HTML or coding skills. But the basic framework allows you to even manage things like the 404 page. So for example, if a job board is trying to send you traffic to a page that is now 404, we can 404 and do the right thing to Google or the job board, but you can actually start to manipulate the look and feel of this page to recommend jobs to that candidate. And again, this sort of very much fits with our philosophy of not wasting any candidate visits that have come along the way. So that's just one piece. Uh, really as well, when we get into the actual individual uh, pages themselves, what we like to be able to look at is the actual ability to look at individual job uh, templates as we discussed. So for example, here's a marketing job. Any job that matches the criteria department equals marketing will use this template. And also as part of our career site module is an important <clears throat> additional functionality. We will take those jobs and we will recreate a new URLs for them all. And we will then submit all those URLs into the main aggregators. And you have control over this in the back end, but there's a, uh, effectively you can get free postings into Google, uh, Indeed, uh, Simply Hard, last door and some of the other main aggregators and we will push these jobs in and additionally we have a direct index link into the google for jobs api to really try and help your jobs you know resonate with the candidates that are searching for jobs in that particular location so let's look at this marketing job template so we can show you some of the things that we can do here so loosely the layout system is a grid and row structure it's done that way because it means we can automatically optimize for desktop and tablet. So you can build on desktop, but be confident that it will work well on a tablet device. And a large part of this is carried out as part of our onboarding, but I'll give you a sense of how easy it is to make a change. So for example, there's the job description, similar jobs, block recent posts, signing up for job alerts, using LinkedIn calls to action. But again, if I want to add in a block, it's really, really very simple. I can add a row with a column or I can add it in with, you know, in a grid structure with uh, multiple columns. So we'll add in a single column here very quickly. And we can say, I would like to add in uh, text, images, team member quotes or bios, 
a list of jobs for a microsite, a job description, job search results if it was a job search results page, a search form, a call to action. A call to action is obviously the apply button, but it equally could be job alerts, capturing consent for GDPR data processing, or even something like a signing up for a newsletter or filling in a net promoter feedback score. Maps for location-based information, code block to put those all important sharing widgets on pages so that people can easily share the jobs or they can be shared internally, a video for video hosting, and then either a blog post body for our blogging engine or a list of blogs to recommend to candidates that are looking at a specific job to showcase more of the organization to them in a really, really simple automated way. We'll look at that in a little bit more detail. We also have a candidate setting screen or module where you can give the candidate to the ability to, you know, look at their favorite jobs, manage their communication settings, and also to look at uh, potentially allowing them to download their data in a machine readable format as per GDPR regulations, or indeed to request the right to be forgotten. That can all be made self-service from the candidate's perspective. So within that, we also then, obviously within the career site, we have a gallery where all the content is hosted. Uh, again, very easy to quickly import and, uh, and, and, and remove images from here. We even have an Instagram integration that allows you to search for content using either hashtags or handles to import employee generated content to the platform very quickly for repurposing across career site pages or employer branding uh, pages that you're pushing out across social. We have a blogging engine here as well, where you can actually create manual blogs, for example, for employee stories within the platform. And again, simple to use blog, very quick to build these posts, put images in, manipulate them very quickly, but also the ability to repurpose the corporate blog using an RSS feed, as in this particular example, and then make those list of blog posts and pages available to candidates. And again, different blogs, can, similar to jobs, can have different types of branding and different types of look and feel. Calls to action is really the form builder. So this is where I want to capture data about people. So is it my apply URL, which in this case has got these fields? Would I like to add a field? Would I like to remove them? Very, very easy to manipulate here. No limitation on the number of uh, different types of call to action. And some of them obviously have automation running behind them. So when you use an apply URL, we know based on the job where to send that candidate to complete the application, be it directly into the ATS or potentially onto another form where you want to capture some additional data on the way to staging them through. Campaigns is where we offer you the ability to make changes to a or create a campaign very, very quickly. So for example, I want to create a recruitment event campaign and I'm going to call it event one. It's going to be called event one and it's going to be in London in this example. And we're going to automatically add people on this page. We're going to use the RSVP um, call to action and we'll add them to this particular list. We'll add them to the test list. So I can create that page. <clears throat> that spins up a campaign and immediately I now have an event page that I can manipulate very, very quickly. And to give you a sense of how easy this is, uh, we can very quickly change the theming and the settings on these pages uh, using different themes that may be set up in the system. So we'll pick the demo theme MDL, we'll use the demo layout, we will not show the header and the footer, <clears throat> we will put a, you know, an SEO meta description in here, we automatically build SEO meta descriptions for dynamic pages like jobs or for blog posts, but you do have the ability to edit them for non, um, for non, uh, for non static, or for, for static pages. So we can also allow you the ability to manage a job specific to that page if you require, and also the ability to manage attribution. So we can allow you to manage attribution based on a text-based attribution. So when we pass the candidate over to the ATS, this attribution code is tagged on. Typically, these are UTM codes. Or we can allow you to use the current source. So in this scenario, if a candidate comes into a event page from uh, an advertising spend, we can tr hold that uh, source for the duration of the session, even if the candidate navigates away Away from the page and looks at a couple of jobs and then comes back and then goes on to apply or fill in the form we can track that original source. Typically publishing rights uh, are controlled within either your single sign-on uh, controls or within user rights within the platform. I have publishing rights but if I didn't uh, this button would say request approval and 
if I requested approval, it would not publish the page. It would send it to the team member. They would get an email from uh, the system saying, hi there, Shane has created this page. This is a preview of what it looks like. And if you would like to push it live, click here on this button in your email. That would push the page live. And then I would be notified that the page had been pushed live and I could get on to my next task. One other area that's worth talking about is the ability to build internal mobility pages. So these are pages that you may not want exposed to the wider, uh, a wider audience outside the corporate internet. So I could call this uh, internal hiring drive, and we would make this page. And then we would typically pick a security group uh, that would allow us to say, pick everybody or sub sets of that in terms of corporate IP ranges. So very easy to quickly